Veterano, old family first fam Taught the world to swing that double-edged sword It works fam BJJ from GJJ Like cool hurt gave birth to what your DJ plays But despite the lineage of Hi, my name is Henry Higgins And um, I'm just going to show you a couple different ways That you can actually use your weight distribution From the bottom And how uh, it can have a dramatic impact Usually most people think about weight distribution Of being on top and using gravity to help you when you're on top But there's actually quite a few situations that you can uh, apply it on your opponent on the bottom and it has a huge impact. So um, the position we're going to show you from is the closed guard today. And normally what happens from the closed guard is your opponent wants to be able to stand up to open your legs. So that's very, very common. They'll stand up to break the legs. And from here, what you'll see is it's very easy for him to stand up. So go stand up. So he puts one leg up, he puts another leg up, and now he's up, right? So, if I want to make it a lot more difficult for him to stand up, what I can do is I can apply my weight to his hips. So, my legs are wrapped around his hips, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pinch my knees tight together. So, now I have a, I'm a little bit connected to his hips. Now, when he goes to put one leg up, that's my signal that he's going to stand. So, he goes to put one leg up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bite my heels down, and I'm going to lift my hips up in the air. So now when he tries to lift up, he's only got one leg to kind of help him stand up now. He's got one leg to help him stand up, his other knee's on the ground. So what I'm doing is I'm shifting all of my weight down to this knee. So now what he has to do is he has to kind of squat his weight and my weight to be able to stand up. So go stand up. Right, and from here, not only can I stop him from standing up, but I'll end up breaking his posture again. So. When he goes to stand up, he goes to put one leg up. I'm already putting my weight, and I already have a sweep available. So he's very, he becomes very, very off balance when he tries to stand up and he's got to deal with all that weight. Right? So all I'm doing one more time is when he goes up, I'm biting my heels down and I lift my hip up. So I'm lifting my hip up in the air and I'm trying to drive all my weight down to this side makes it very difficult for him to just one leg squat both of our weights, right? And a lot of times you can't see that, but your opponent will definitely be able to feel it. So you gotta play around with it a little bit and, uh, and practice it.